The magic of being in an independent bookshop like here and the other world that it opens up to you and the invitation to, to just live and breathe imagination is extraordinary and I think that that is a very strong feeling that you pick up in, in good independent bookshops. The object of the book is so exquisite and beautiful and we're really focusing on hand picking our books here so that you have everything from that it's the it's the best edition of its kind it's the most beautiful one as well as the content is great my name is Sylvia Whitman and we are at Shakespeare and Company in Paris The history of Shakespeare Company is fascinating. It started with a, a, a remarkable bookseller called Sylvia Beach. She arrived in Paris in 1916 and she opened her, an Anglophone bookshop called Shakespeare and Company. Her bookshop basically became a centre for Anglophone writers and, um, and a kind of exchange between French and uh, Anglophone literature and my father George Whitman who had already a bookshop in Boston he came on the GI Bill and he was in Paris in the late 40s and uh, he was here with all the kind of beatniks all the beat poets in particular Lawrence Felling Felinghetti and George found this incredible space the the building we're in is 17th century and it was originally a monastery part of Notre Dame which is probably one of the reasons why we sell so many copies of the hunchback of Notre Dame <laughs> So we um, welcome uh, aspiring writers. Most of them are aspiring writers and not yet writers because then most of them are in their early 20s. Um, most of them come to Paris as foreigners and they don't have much money and they want to live in this city which is such a historically literary city. That really, for me, gives it such a soul because to have young writers living above the bookshop attempting to write, talking about their writing, and then downstairs selling books. It gives a very organic feel to the bookshop. In the future, I think that we want to, you know, this, we feel that coffee and books go so well together, so we need a cafe. We really want to have a kind of underground cinema. Um, and. All sorts of basically just crossing the different paths of the arts, you know, having an exhibition space. All of that feels like what we need to do because it's already, we already have so many different artists and uh, coming through the bookshop that it just kind of embraces that idea. Three words to describe the bookshop would definitely be number one, bohemian, number two, eccentric, and warm. Yeah, and I think those three would describe George, the owner, because he's, he's really the soul of the bookshop, so the three words describe him and, and the bookshop. I like picking up a, the object, I like the weight of it, I like looking at the book cover, I like the sensation of, 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 of opening a book and it feels like, you know, there are a lot of writers that have said that they, their library are, is their friends, they're, they're surrounded by their friends and I really feel that about the bookshop and it feels that those books are your friends and your family as well. Mm -hmm.